Today, we're talking about love. And no, not the love you feel for your boyfriend, girlfriend, dog, or baby. That's lame. We're talking about technology. Get your head in the game. I think as consumers, we like to talk about the negatives for these major billion dollar companies a little too much. We always say how bad a certain feature or many different features are about these products and overall companies. What we never really talk about is the good things that these new technologies bring into our lives. I think we all like to bash on these companies a little too much and how they slowly drain our money out of our wallets and put us into a crippling depression instead of sometimes talking about the positivity and all the great features that makes our lives a little bit easier. We just need to get off our high horses sometimes and look at the other side, see how they view these companies and what's so special and great about them. We can't always just be in a walled little garden and say, you know what, that product sucks. I'm never going to use it because it's just not me. We get that. It's not just you. It's not just about you, though. It's also everyone else, what they like. We'll discuss three major companies that people love to back up behind, and we'll try to find three to five positive things about this company instead of just negativity. Hopefully this video just helps people get a new perspective on why other people enjoy these companies. You still don't have to after this video. I just wanna see if your opinion changes at all or not. Anyway guys, let's get started. First we'll talk about Microsoft. Microsoft is interesting. They've tried to diversify other than having Windows. They wanted to have more of something that's just not on desktops and computers in general and more towards smartphones and tablets as well those didn't up too well. Microsoft has somehow still maintained a consistent desktop lead over their competitors. I mean, it's hard to go wrong when clearly they have 80% market share on desktop OS, which is great because that just shows how much people rely on their product and they've consistently performed well enough for people to stay with them. Microsoft's also doing really great for people who are really into video games. After all, they have that Xbox PC cross-platform thing going on now where you buy a game on one, you can play it on the other, you know, playing Xbox, playing on your PC, whatever. That's also really nice of them to do. And that's one of the perks of being a Microsoft customer. And the third thing about Microsoft is I'm glad they're just focusing primarily on their laptops and desktops, the computer operating system market. The reason for that is that's where they really excel right now and that's where they should really stay instead of trying to push their Windows phones and Windows tablets if those still even exist anymore. Their Surface lineup is great. They feel super premium and they really set a new standard in terms of what level of quality we should expect out of Windows machines. The build quality is now Amazing. That top quality in general across the board for Windows have gone up significantly in the last few years, which is great for everyone. Now, here's the best things about good old Google. While YouTube is a Google brand or Alphabet brand, because they're all under the company name Alphabet now, they've kept YouTube relatively normal. I know YouTube gets a lot of hate, but in my own opinion, it's a great platform because not many people can keep a platform this huge, store this much data, and keep it generally all free. That's that's phenomenal, that's great. I mean, I know Twitch is getting up there in terms of popularity as well, but it's hard to maintain this whole archive of just videos. Videos take up a lot of space. Some take up a whole bunch of gigs, and I don't know how they manage all of it, but they do. Number two for Google, Android is absolutely phenomenal. It's an amazing operating system. There's so much customization going on in the background. You can change it, make it anywhere you want, and it just goes on so many different devices. It's just, it's, it's great. Number three is their apps are on everything, which is great because some people don't like to be that friendly towards other people, towards other companies and their products, but Google's just been like, you know what? Yo, we're everywhere. We're on here, we're on here, we're on here, we're on here. We're we're literally everywhere. We're everywhere. We're spying on. <laughs> we'll help you out everywhere. Now, moving on to Apple. When you look at Apple, you can honestly tell right away that something's an Apple product because it feels really premium to touch. Even their unboxing experience is really, really nice. They know how to present their products, and I think that's one of the best things about them showcasing products. Number two, Apple products typically do retain their resale value really well. Old devices are still pretty expensive to buy and used, and that's a good thing for owners who bought their products 
brand new and had a discount at that. So God, I'll give them prompts for that. You buy an Apple product, you'll make decent money back when you sell it. Number three is the communication of their products across each lineup. For example, the watch interacts with the laptop to unlock it. The laptop, you can respond to iMessages and text messages. <clears throat> Sorry, and text messages and at the same time, pick up calls on your laptop if you have an iPhone. All these features really make an ecosystem consistent and powerful. Being able to just change on the whim like that really gives it the flexibility that other competitors lack, which is amazing for their part as well. So guys, what do you think of this video? Did I make some good points? Did you think I missed something or do you not agree with my point? Did anything change your opinion about a different company? Leave that all down in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.